Cobra, welcome back. All right, let's go ahead and get back in here. So we're just gonna do as much damage as we possibly can. Sorry for being a little negative last time. It's frustrating, the dwarves feel a little underpowered after the green skin buffs and the Skaven buffs. Over time, dwarves just... The dwarves have had much love in a very long time. Okay. About an hour. Yeah, it's just gonna do as much damage as we can here. I think it's really like, you know, you are strong early on, like you have good defensive stuff, but if you're not cheesing, if you're not like corner camping, just like putting all of your units in a corner, I mean, you can do that, but like, what was, you know, what's the point playing if you're just gonna cheese in my mind? Um, you just, you really, really need those gyros at tier three, cause that would give you some cavalry effectively. That, cause that's what they're really lacking. It's just the mobility to make plays because right now it's basically just free fire on them with your artillery and then just hope you can hold the line with your units and they just they're missing so many strategic options that other factions have the runesmiths can't even do the damage anymore like they used to maybe they nerfed that because of multiplayer i don't know but it's like you don't have magic you don't have cavalry you don't have like combat mechanics like special combat mechanics like the um the wa or the skaven um stuff the menace from below you're just missing so many things you just have like your you know in the early game just your generic archers plus infantry and some artillery you know just the classic stuff Our goal here is just to weaken them as much as possible. We'll see if we can kill their little, um, their little dude. They should be coming to me. Yeah, they're just waiting. Why are they going invisible? Are they just like, we can't see them over the ridge or something? The flappas would be really nice to kill. <clears throat> This guy right here, Bob Grub. Because we need to do as much damage as we can to stop him from taking our town. And I just, you know, if we end up losing this campaign, it's because I really underestimated the, um, just how powerful this game and the green skins are, those changes. I mean, I just played Scarsnake and, like, Beligar. I mean, I, I, like, spoiler alert, I won the fights against Beligar, but a lot of them felt, like, kind of competitive. You know, but that's because they had all those legendary stats and they just have so many units. Like, you know, they'd have like 320 stacks where there's no way I can afford that much. Barely afford one. <laughs> but they'll get 320 stacks off of one province. I mean, that's just how it goes on legendary. So it was hard to get a sense of like, oh, the green skins are actually stronger because it's having to deal with so many nerfs. Um. Once again, we're going to lose this. We're just trying to soften them up as much as we can. I don't know where their little goblin... Oh, they're hiding him back here. I thought there was one that was, like, basically one-shot territory. Where are those flappas? I think they're over there. A couple of them over there. Tell them all in beard's reach. There he is. We have scores to settle. This is what happens. Vengeance score. Dwarf warriors. The ancestors watch. Slay the oak breakers. For the ancestors. I am skeptical as to whether or not we're going to kill those flappers. So, I don't know why are they all running over that way. But... We will have vengeance. Missiles ready. Yes, yes. Quarrelers. Get any night Shoot goblins that you can weapons. that we can find because Shoot those don't have weapons. shields. Anything with a sword on it, we need to try to, try to kill. 
I don't know what the AI is doing here. Why they're running around, but I'm cool with it. We're doing a lot more damage than I thought we would. Show us that target, Lord. Stop. War of vengeance. And Kazoo. I'm not really sure why they're goofing up, but I'll tell you what, I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> Get on! I speak my lord's will. Mm, yeah, they're about to kill our Thane, probably. That Black Orc big boss is causing some, causing some problems, but... Fire on the foe! Quirrellus! Grudge thrower! Take your targets well. Will do. Quarrelers. Leave them in. Trouble. Yeah, I don't know what what they're doing. Why Blood they're slower. playing around. Take them down! Grudge slower! Quirrellus! Pump the urge! Understood! Down! That's, that's about to be it. They decided to quit you for all this. That'll do! Grudge slower! Yeah, we knew we were gonna lose. We're just trying to kill as many as we possibly can to buy enough time for our other lord to maybe, um, maybe be able to hold. Withdraw! So I don't think we, we did kill the goblin, so that's good. We got the big boss. Um, some of these might get rounded off. They shouldn't be able to replenish as much. It's possible that um, it's possible that them trespassing so much on Balthazar that he might fight him, or we might be able to convince him to fight him. But yeah, that was that was way better than I thought we were gonna do. Yeah, we did trim up a lot of their goblins. Um, some of them might get rounded off, or they might combine some of them. Hopefully they don't have like really big replenishment. Yeah, the Black Orc big boss is, big boss is pretty uh, pretty beast. We didn't get to use him that much in our Scars Net campaign. Um, or really in the Grom campaign, we just weren't, you know. <clears throat> we just didn't get up that far, but. Seems like he's a really sturdy fighter. Oh, they got the siege in one turn on me. Hmm. I didn't think they'd get there in one turn. Okay, Kirk Oswald died. What are they raiding? Oh, they're... Oh, they're over here raiding something? No, they're right here raiding. Okay. Um... Belly got iron hammer. Our ancestors would be proud. No point. The council is disappointed. What are they hiring this stuff? I don't know. So this is gonna be tricky, but we gotta we have to win this fight. Let's see, can we win? Our 
Zill has that. Or Zerakill, whatever. Bunch of Snotling Pump Wagons with Flappas. Time for a reckoning. Literally nothing. Just these. What? <laughs> if they start taking this, no! I mean, it might be GG. I, I don't know. If we can get a confederation with Welcome the dwarfs, in. oh god. <laughs> okay, maybe not. We're getting bailed out by confederations here. Um. All right, we're doing this, obviously. Fellow Dali, it is an honor. Yeah, we definitely goofed up the early game. Well, the mid game. I mean, it started with the Skaven, right? That was our huge mistake, is we had really good momentum and we underestimated just how strong those Skaven are. And we forgot that Ambush would pull us out from the underground and they crushed our army and slowed us down a lot and it cost us a lot of money to rebuild that army. And mostly it was just time. Like that bottom about five turns. And then Skarsnik came, kind of threw a curveball at us. He didn't come down early to be aggressive, but he came down in the mid-game. And Carrick Norn was holding him off for a while, then Carrick Norn just decided to ignore him. Okay, well that's obviously going to be massive for us. Summon me if you dare. Okay, we're in dash mode, so we can't get over there super fast. This is a pretty strong army right here. So we might be able to come over and deal with them. You're not right, Dad. Now on a siege, we might be able to hold. We do have a Thane and four Longbeards, and the Don't Flappas aren't going to do anything on a siege. So... How can I help? Oh, we get Grom Brindle too. Nice. And then Thorgrim around? Who needs stabbing? Okay, so we're not at war with Greenskins yet. I... <clears throat> nice, we do have tier four with the airfield. Plus five rank for gyros. Upkeep for gyros. Do we have gyros? We have the this building. Yes, we can get gyros. Thank God, finally, we can get some cavalry. Yeah, Thorgrim's busted up, so we can get him in one turn. Looks like they wasted a bunch of his skills. I mean, I guess he's going to be a good tank, but we've got to get him some proper skills. I am um, the white dwarf. Now, this white dwarf... They really need to, like, redo some of this stuff. Or, like, the SFO mod adds on a bunch of cool stuff, I think. But, um, it's like they just don't have these, like, identity, you know, defining, not necessarily yellow tree stuff, but, like, y'all know what I'm saying, the unique trees. Like, a lot of the modern factions, it's like, okay, it's, um, Queek, Storm Vermin, and Clan Rats, right? He gets a bunch of stuff that, you know, bumps that up. Okay, it's, um, you know, whoever, Ikit Claw. All right, he's got a lot of stuff that, you know, buffs up the weapons teams. Or, okay, it's, um, I guess the Greenskins don't have that as much either. I think Skarsnik had some stuff that, like, maybe buffed up goblins a little bit. But anyway, some of the more modern, especially the Warhammer 2 factions, have more specialized skill trees for the types of units that are best on them. And the dwarves just really haven't ever had a, a rework. Other than, once again, SFO, I think, may have given them some more stuff. But Anyways, okay, 12 leaders. Okay, these items are... It's, like, some of the old items are just so bad, too. It's just, like, random assortment of stats. Um, That's good. Upkeep reduction. But, like, this, it's, like, 8 armor, 6 defense, 10 mes... I mean... I don't know. This stuff down here, 20% commerce, and th these are really good. Everything, like, faction-wide, movement range, replenishment, that's only six, but... Like, his blue tree's legit. Um, anyway, 
anyways, okay, well, I was about to say, I mean, if we lose that up here, and if we don't win the Skaven fight, we might just be too far behind and end up losing the campaign, which is where we'd have to take a super defensive stance, which I really don't like to do. But anyways, that obviously is a huge deal that we're able to negotiate that. Alright, so how do we want to deal with this? Don't forget, they're going to get a garrison that has like 20 units. I don't know why Skaven have the best garrisons in the game, it seems like either. But... Okay, we can actually recruit these, but a lot of their units too, like, why is everything in like the late 20s, like 26 on these regiments? So many other factions start getting like pretty good regiments around like 10 to 15. Billiga! Anyways, the dwarves just—I love them. They're cool thematically. They have some cool stuff, but it's all gated at tier four, and they just—their numbers just need some buffs, man. I mean, the gyros are gonna be a big deal, though. I mean, they—I literally just killed all of them like five turns ago. And they already—and I already didn't I kill another twenty stack or two over to the left, like. How do they recruit like 10 units per turn? I mean, I know they're Skaven, but Jesus. They're just OP, man. They really are. <laughs> Especially against the dwarves. I mean, we gotta do it though. This is gonna be like our only chance, probably. I mean, this is like literally all slaves. So that, we should be able to carve through that. If we can just this is mostly slaves. If we can just kill these mysterious weapons teams that they keep being able to hire, um, like, like I said, I think the warp fire throwers and the drills are tier two. Warp fire throwers should not be tier two, tier three, but somehow this is a tier four unit that they're able to hire. So, I don't know. Okay, maybe there's a special landmark building for them here where they get to hire that stuff. But anyways, all right, we gotta fight it. Let's do it. Um. Which Bane, yeah. Immune to Psych. Uh, those guys are already immune to Psych. I guess we'll put it on this. So anyways, we can finally get some good gyros um, up there. Do we have a non-aggro with... Um, Warp Princes. We'll have to. We might have to fight them. Alright, so they. So their stuff is coming in through here. So they're not going to be set. So we should be able to. Like, engage them right here. Where they come in? Right there. Menace from below, honestly, is I think it's it's borderline too strong. Like, especially, I mean, being on the receiving end of it, it just feels like BS, man. <laughs> things like artillery factions or things like the dwarves, it just it's just so good. I just want to be able to fire on them right when they're coming out. I guess we're... Quarters. As much as we can. Because we need to engage and fight them. Dwarves are so slow, too. Not only do they not have cavalry, but it's like their just movement is really slow. So it's hard to make tactical moves. Like, we have to go fight them right now before this reinforcing army gets over here. We just... It's hard to Ready. find room to do that. Bring death on him. Ready to serve. Oh, we gotta go over here and fight him. War of vengeance. Boom those dwarven legs. Shield 
Yeah, we gotta force him to fight. They can't stop us! Long be it! Go! That'll do! It is a reckoning! Go! Charge! Charge! Kill them all in Beard's Street! Clans unite! That's all! Nothing can stop us! Rage fast! Rage fast! Target's well! Locked and loaded! Cadog! Range far! Range fast! And just like little things that are really understated too, like their turn Stop. radius, like they take so long to turn and they get like blocked Go. more than almost any other faction. Go now. Charge. Attack the axe! Fire on the ball! Get them down! For the High King, I will have vengeance! Yeah. Yes, Lord! The Mountain and Home! Very well! This is an order! Is... Oh god, this dude does magic damage, doesn't he? Oh. Sure. Understood, Lord! Quarrelers! Let the vengeance begin! Oh, then I'll get them! Understood! Vengeance! Get them all! Kazoom! Yes! Understood! And stop us! Try to Warrelers. do what we can. For the ancestor gods. Warrelers! Blow through! Understood, Lord. Pump those dwarven legs! For the Karas Anchor! Anat! Belega! Balance ready! Roots through! 
Get those rat ogres. Off we go. Bro, get over here and kill him. Get where are those rat ogres? Did we get them? Okay. What is it, Rory? What is it? Is it the Poe? Okay, I can get you the big poe in a little bit. I don't know where it went. Maybe you can ask mommy about it. Yeah, daddy's working right now, though, so you're, you're gonna have to ask mommy, okay? God, they have so many heroes, too, and just like little. Ready to serve! Pick your targets well! Descend in your blood! Move here! We demand blood! Kill them all! Grudge thrower! There's still more coming in. Why are these things back? Take them down! Quarrelers! Of those woman lights! They have wronged us! The ancestors watch! Going now! I try to kill their heroes. thing is, I'm not going to be able to siege him, though, probably. Even after we Find win this. Right. <laughs> Look at all those Skaven Slingers. Shoot the Warriors. Yes. It's like, sweet, we won, but they're going to have 50 more units back next turn. Fight. They did kill our really injured Thane. Valeo, bless our name. Take them down. True king of air beats! Take them down! Fire 
the foe. Guard, advance! For the ancestors! <laughs> That's a boy! How are these scaven slaves staying up? Like, I've killed so many units. I don't know, maybe it's just legendary, like, they, just the leadership buffs and just their extra recruitment capacity just makes them really OP on legendary, I don't know. Like, all their lords are basically dead, I don't... That's actually good for us, them firing that stuff into this, because that's gonna... reluctant to run in there with my units because this plague ball is gonna probably come at me. Well, we can't really move. We move about as slow as zombies do, so I guess... And maybe we just got dismounted, but still had ammo. Please just shoot him in the face. I mean, these things cause terror. Like, these units have like 40 leadership or something, like the Skaven Slaves. I guess we're getting a tough, entertaining campaign. Skaven slaves are beating up my quarrelers. Actually, if I shoot them in the back, maybe they'll run. It's assuming they have actual leadership and aren't unbreakable, which is probably a bad assumption on Legendary. There's nothing I can't 
I mean, if this was a human army, it says they only get like eight leadership. I don't know if I buy it, man. If this was a human army, they definitely would have run like, for me, like 10 minutes ago, you know? Might have a death by a thousand pinpricks here. Like, they don't have a lord. Like, all 20 of their lords have run off the map. Skaven slave slingers are literally beating off four of my quarrelers. Yes, the quarrelers are hurt, but like, they're like 90 leadership, 80 armor. Nice. Now they're at least gonna shoot each other in the back if they want to shoot me. Taken this dwarf like 50 years to kill these play call catapults in melee combat. They're not even fighting him back. They're just firing anyways. They just they don't even care that someone's just killing him in the back. can't fire while shooting, so if I just put one unit on them, do I lose if the timer... I mean, they, are they really going to do like a multiplayer thing to me where they just run around in circles for... Until the timer runs out. We were chasing him. And it's like, yeah, you know what? We got these Skaven slaves on the run. Let's just run away. What the? Nothing can stop us. The ancestors watch. God. I keep my oath. Kazu, live to attack. Withdraw. Like, honestly, I was about to say, how many minutes has this dwarf been hacking away at these things? Oh my god. Absolutely absurd. anyone down. That's an order. I mean, I guess maybe their thoughts behind the balancing are, look, 
dwarves have access to pretty easy confederation, so we're just going to make them, like, completely garbage in the mid-game. We're just going to make Skaven and Greenskin super OP. But, I mean, that, that logic doesn't even make that much sense because the Greenskins have even better access to confederations now. All you have to do is, like, basically find Grimgore, kill Grimgore, you win the campaign. Pretty much. If you're playing as any of the other Greenskin wards. Because he's gonna... You know, he's gonna have, like, 15 properties or something in the mid-game. And you kill him. You get those properties. You probably win. So, I don't know what the... What the balancing is here. They just... They don't get how these armies work. Or they're just, like, banking on you cheesing. And just, like, hiding in a corner the whole time. Jeez, it was definitely frustrating. I mean, they did have a huge amount of units that game. It's just, like, the Skaven Slave should not be able to hold that long. I'm pretty sure... I don't know if that was the garrison or not. Yeah, we didn't even kill that much, honestly. True king of eight peaks. I mean, we really need lightning strike, I guess, for this, but we needed other stuff too. <laughs> we need everything. We need like upgrades on coralers and lightning strike and upgrades on um okay i want to i want to see this how are they hiring like literally what is allowing them to hire rattling guns and flamethrowers they they don't have a building that allows that it's scrap heap fortified entries breeding pit They literally don't have anything that allows them to hire anything. I think the the normal building allows you to hire Skaven slaves. Normal Skaven slaves. Maybe maybe slingers. I don't know. Foolish thing. No. No need my warp. I'm pretty sure I've killed the. Right. I mean, have they just gotten away every time with the warp fire throwers and the warp grinders? The council is, is disappointed. Maybe I just haven't killed the units that had them or something. I don't know. To battle. All right, let me attack. Seeking vengeance. How is this dude not dead? Was he here reinforcing and he just ran off before he took any damage? We can't. Don't think. I mean, we do have a lot of Skaven slaves. If he, if like Belagar was literally unbreakable, I don't know. We do have um, Ocean of Healing. There's just too many units. Onwards. It's gonna have to run. No, Gracie, never wrong. And they are getting some replenishment. No, you fail, failed. Billy got iron hammer. Revenge incarnate. Yes. I can dash like over here maybe and they won't be able to get me. I think we'll have to try. Very well. I will do as you ask. Moving out. Didn't see this guy. I don't think he has very much. I'm special. Okay, so we're gonna have to hire a lord over here. And just start hiring units and try to hand them off in a couple of turns. 
Um, the dwarfs need me. Okay, we need to get that gyro technology now, assembly lines, so we can get them in one turn. So they have seven. You need help. This is my twenty-four, life. twenty-five units. Fearless and unbreakable. These are pretty bad. I mean, if we can get some, just some grudge throwers in there. We really do need the gyros, though. I mean, maybe with gyros we can beat him. How much ammo? 22. I mean, the grudge throwers are very good. The cannon is not as good, but... Those are very expensive. We are making a lot of money over here. Really like to be able to complete this province, but. Black Fort, character drawn. I uh, can probably get rid of that for money. We need to be able to take down Black Fort. Or Iron Rock. What's the Iron Rock building? City and an extra gold. They just sacked this. Probably going to lose that. Stone Tower Mine is going to be difficult to hold. Jeez, they have all that too. Let us begin. Okay, we'll hold on to that and we'll try to jump the wall and then these guys like I said might yes. be able to hold this nothing that helps out with sieges over here okay so do we just hold on to all of our stuff I'm here now Lord of the Angren. Need Axe Lord. I mean, we need Lightning Strike too, but. Um. That should honestly just be like a one point for the 15%. Uh, it's just dead eye. And then do I hire another lord over here? He's gonna be up in one turn. Two thousand per turn if I hire that. Well, we do need to replenish anyways, but it's gonna take two extra turns for us to power up. Ah, against council order, each plan scale is discordant. Ready for bossing! Who has this over here? Something's sieging these bloody hands. Um, 
I have to hold Karak 8 peaks, because otherwise I'm going to get, like, the huge penalties. So we have to try to hold this. I mean, maybe we just throw down... Okay, so the question is, I'm locked in over here for now at Karakarin. Um, can't cancel that building. As we might as well get the tax right. And I do a hold on to this army and send it over here to try to save eight peaks. That's going to be one jump maybe i can get there in two jumps probably three to get over there and then we can start trying to get our payback we don't have any um don't have any siege units but Let's get a little aggressive over there. Obviously, we need to stay over One here. Back. Do we just go ahead and hire other option? Would be I just hope that Karakarin can hold. And if they can, then I run over here with this army and try to get to the um, get to the Skaven. They're probably going to take this at some point. But maybe I just take this army over there. How many turns? That's going to be several turns. And if, I mean, if Crooked Fang Fort takes this, I mean, it's 2,000 gold a turn. I think I gotta try to save this over here. Send this army over here. We're gonna have a three war front then, which is not gonna be good. But is there anything else I can get rid of that's just worthless? Um, that's blocked, but that is a thousand gold a turn. So I guess we hold on to the trade stuff. I am the white dwarf. Okay, it's two turns for gyros though. Um, three turns for these. These are so bad, I think. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but. Um, get those in one turn. So we'd have five. Okay, and we have to go on an go on the offense against this guy. I think. All right, what is this? Hi, lad. What can I do? Engineer. Okay, good. Triangulation. What else do we have in terms of just random heroes sitting around? This guy. Okay, he's got to stay. Grom Brindle. This guy. Time for a reckoning. What needs to be done? That guy. Wounded, wounded, wounded. Thorgrim's coming back next turn. Uh, we do have some Oath Gold. This campaign is harder than I thought it was going to be, honestly. Um, let's just grab a couple of these. How many of these do we even have left? I don't know. We're going to need all of them. <laughs> I'm ready. Put the gem cutter on him, so we actually have gems here. Oh, anything that's like local money. Public order, or whatever.
followers a little on the weak side too compared to some of the other factions okay so we have that uh, talisman Twelve charge bonus. Come on, man. Leadership plus ten and reinforcement range. Okay, so we got the armor on him. Uh, we're gonna replace him with Thorgrim probably. And then I mean, we might get if they attack us, we're probably gonna die here. If they come over here and we try to use the underway, we might get intercepted and die. And if that happens, we're gonna be in trouble. We might have. I mean, do we just have to hold our nose and just hire another lord here? And then we have to get rid of this and just. Put in the defensive building. This thing's 2,500 for gates. At this point, I mean, I'm gonna get rid of him in a couple of turns, but uh, it's gonna feel so bad. But if they get the jump on us, if they kill him, I've gotta have somebody ready to step up. How expensive is his, his armies? So, we should be able to kill these guys and get some money next turn, I hope. He does have the upgraded gems. You know who I am. going to be two turns. If I take off taxes, it's maybe one turn. Am I, gonna, I don't know how strong this is. If I'm going to get intercepted and killed, they might just go after Crooked Fang Fort. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel that. Get us a little more money. Sell that. Grudgebearer gonna go into the negative but we can hand it off next turn I, th I think we gotta do it. we just gotta hold our nose and do it as much as it sucks oh god it burns okay gotta do this because we just gotta get some units um Cannot afford to global anything. Ready. Three of those. Crooked Fang Fort is probably going down soon. We'll sell that. We might get some more money out of it, but I think the Skaven are gonna take it back. What? I'm not even sure that like. The gyrocopters are going to be strong, but it's like Skaven Slingers are going to be very good against them. And they have a lot of Skaven Slingers, so... I don't know, man. Skaven just, Skaven just have everything covered. Okay. Well. Um, okay, we can sell a couple of things here. Good old money on the board. Don't need the growth. Um, guess we'll hold on to the rest of this. Can we threaten Black Crag? It's gonna be a hot minute before we can threaten Black Crag. Ready for bossing. If they go hostile with us, it's it's gonna be bad news bears for sure. My axe thirsts for war. 
Alright. Okay, maybe Grimgore skips us and goes after um someone else. Okay, so they're ambush or raiding right there. Gaven, I mean, I keep saying it, man. They really are so hard to deal with. <coughs> Recruitment costs, public order. I don't think I can afford the public order right now. Growth doesn't matter. I'm already pretty... I, I just can't afford anything else. Um, looks like we got a huge money increase because we met some kind of requirement. I mean, the recruitment reduction is nice, but I'm not going to be... Actually, I am recruiting a pretty good chunk here. I'm going to need to. How much will that save me? Like a 1,000 gold for 15 public order problems? Maybe I'll do it. You know what? Your conquests strike fear into the hearts of your enemies, mighty lord. The wisest amongst them will know that fate is on your side. I have foreseen it. Oh, and we did demolish a ton of things too. You're not right, Dad. Ready to war. Onward. What does he have? Of course, just absolute trash. Things. I mean, I guess it's not like the worst thing in the world, but it's certainly not great. Okay. Well, it looks like they're leaving us alone, and they're going for the fort. You so that's. Overall, pretty good news for us. It means we don't die instantly over here. We can reset, try to get another siege on them. I mean, we are leveling up through this whole process. They keep, all their lords keep dying. So they don't have any levels. We are kind of leveling up. We're teching up. We're at least holding. But, okay, well, we'll figure this out next time, man. This campaign, definitely getting a little tough. Um... Why do we see this? I don't know how we have vision of that, but... Oh, are we... Are we military allied with, uh... No, I don't know how we have that vision. Oh, do we... I mean, do we see ports because we have this port? It is time. The sea I don't know. Death. But, alright, so next episode, we're gonna jump over here. How far can we jump? don't think we're going to be able to do it in two turns. Maybe. Ready. We'll see how this siege goes. If they take care of Cairn, it's going to be bad, but we might be able to take it back if we do a lot of damage to him. Okay, Drink Raz is alright. I mean, our public order is pretty bad because we have this confederation penalty. Um... I do kind of want, you know, maybe I don't need the assembly lines. Maybe I just need the money. Yeah, let's just go with the money. I'm going to change that just because, yeah, it's nice to have the one turn cooldown or, like, one turn higher on the gyros, and we'll use that in a little bit, but I think the money situation is getting pretty bad right now. Um, 10% from settlements. That includes these. I mean, maybe the 10% from settlements could be okay. What's the other one? This really high tier one. Public order, recruit rank, tax. Okay. Uh, we need to get this forge up eventually. That's 10,000 gold. 1750 in order to get to hammers or iron breakers. It's like, yeah, they're good, but like the long beards are fine for a while. They're not as good, obviously, as the other stuff, but the gyrocopters are going to be one of the major attractions. If we can hire those, but anyways, we'll get out of it next time, so thank you very much for tuning in. It's definitely going to be spicy. Skaven are likely to take Crooked Fane Port back, but um, hopefully we can power up again, get one more round of stuff, come in there, go for them. 
I mean, if the green skins all run down and start going for Clan Moors or going for someone else, we might be able to backdoor and grab Black Crag after we kill, um, hopefully after we get the Pillars of Grungmi stuff. But anyways, we'll figure it out next time. So thank you very much. Have a good day, and we'll see you then.